Of course. Here is the expanded, more detailed voiceover script, presented as a single block of plain text for recording. It elaborates on each point, adds more context and examples, and is roughly twice the length of the previous version. In the grand theater of technology, our attention is always drawn to the main stage, to the dazzling spectacle of the new iPhone, or the revolutionary promise of a new headset, but some of the most profound changes happen quietly, in the background. In a small, unassuming black box that sits under our televisions, Apple is orchestrating a silent coup. This is the story of the upcoming 2025 Apple TV 4K, and it's far more significant than you can imagine. This isn't just about a faster streaming device. This is about Apple planting a supercomputer in the heart of our homes, a Trojan horse powered by the A17 Pro chip and a new level of artificial intelligence, designed not just to entertain us, but to command our entire digital lives. If you believe the world of streaming boxes is a solved problem, a boring category with no room for excitement, you'll want to reconsider. We are about to deconstruct Apple's master plan. And trust me, the final piece of this puzzle, the ultimate justification for this ambitious device, is the one detail everyone is currently missing. Let's first address the obvious question, why is this even necessary? The current Apple TV 4K is already a top-tier device. It's fast, fluid, and for many, it's perfect. So why engineer a replacement? The answer lies in strategy. The streaming market is a battlefield, but Apple's competitors like Roku and Amazon are fighting a different war. Theirs is a war of attrition, built on low-cost hardware subsidized by advertising revenue and user data collection. Their goal is to get a device into your home as cheaply as possible. Apple's ambition is grander. They're not just fighting for your HDMI 1 port. They're fighting to become the central nervous system of your home. This new box isn't a defensive move. It's a calculated, offensive strike to redefine what a living room device can be, moving it from a passive content portal into an active, intelligent hub. The weapon leading this charge is the A17 Pro chip. To call this an upgrade is a profound understatement. This is the same class of silicon that powers the iPhone 15 Pro, and transplanting it into the Apple TV is like taking the engine from a Formula One car and putting it into a go-kart. The result is a level of performance that borders on the absurd for a streaming box. Of course, you'll get the instantaneous app launches and the utterly fluid interface. But the true power lies deeper. This chip provides the headroom for processing multiple high bitrate 4K streams, for future-proofing against 8K content, and for running complex computational video and audio algorithms in real time. But most critically, its advanced 16-core neural engine is the non-negotiable requirement for Apple's next great frontier. Apple Intelligence. The old hardware simply cannot keep up. This is where the device transcends from a simple tool to a true assistant. The integration of Apple Intelligence running on device for privacy will make the Apple TV futuristic. Imagine you get home after a stressful day. You don't scroll through endless menus. You simply say to the remote, Siri, I need to unwind. Find me a visually stunning nature documentary I haven't seen before. Apple Intelligence cross-references your subscriptions understands your preference for stunning visuals over talking heads, and immediately presents a David Attenborough special on Disney+, Plus, while simultaneously signaling your smart lights to shift to a calm, cool white. Imagine your iPhone buzzing with a call. Instead of a jarring interruption, a small, elegant notification appears in the corner of your TV, asking if you'd like to take the call on your AirPods. This is proactive, seamless integration, a living room that anticipates your needs. It's your TV finally getting a PhD, this intelligence extends directly to the picture quality. We're hearing whispers of a next-generation video pipeline, a kind of Dolby Vision 2.0, focused on computational enhancement. Think of content intelligence that knows the difference between the cinematic 24 frames of a film and the fluid 60 frames of a live football game, optimizing the motion handling for each without you ever touching a setting. Imagine Precision Black, where the A17 Pro's power is used to run advanced algorithms that mimic the pixel-level control of an OLED on a high-end LED screen. And picture LightSense, a far more advanced ambient light sensor that doesn't just brighten the image in a sunny room, but subtly adjusts the entire gamma curve and color temperature, so the picture looks perfectly calibrated for day or night. This isn't just showing you a picture. It's perfecting it for your eyes, in your room, in real time. Now, let's assemble the pieces. You have a chip with desktop class graphics. You have a rumored storage capacity jumping to a massive 256 gigabytes. The picture is clear. Apple is making a serious play to turn the Apple TV into a mainstream gaming console. 
No, it won't replace a PlayStation 5 for the hardcore enthusiast. But for the hundreds of millions of families who want a simple, powerful, and accessible gaming experience, this is a game changer. Imagine console quality titles from Apple Arcade, like Fantasian and NBA 2K, stored locally, running flawlessly on your big screen. This increased power and storage is a signal to developers that Apple is finally serious about gaming in the living room, potentially paving the way for exclusive titles that could make the Apple Arcade subscription an absolute must-have. Beyond these seismic shifts are the crucial quality of life upgrades. A move to Wi-Fi 7 isn't just about faster downloads. It's about rock-solid stability in crowded wireless environments and near-zero latency for cloud gaming services. The rumored redesign of the Siri remote might finally include a U1 chip, enabling precision finding just like an AirTag, ending the frustrating hunt for a lost remote forever. And its role as the ultimate smart home hub will be solidified with enhanced thread and matter support, making your smart devices faster and more reliable than ever before. So, the inevitable question, what will this cost and when can we get it? All signs point to a launch in the fall of 2025, perfectly timed for the holiday rush. The price is where we must adjust our expectations. With this level of technology, a price hike is almost certain. The new baseline model could easily start at $179, with the 256 GB gaming-focused version pushing past $190. But here is the final piece of the puzzle, Apple's ultimate justification. They won't just sell you a box. They will sell you a complete entertainment package. The real strategy might be to bundle the new Apple TV 4K with a full year of their services, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, maybe even Apple Music. When you factor in that value, the higher price tag suddenly transforms from a steep cost into a compelling high-value investment in their ecosystem. That is how they will win. So let's bring this all into focus. The 2025 Apple TV 4K is not an iteration. It is a redefinition. It is Apple's declaration that the battle for the living room will be won not with cheap hardware, but with overwhelming power, intelligence, and seamless ecosystem integration. It's a premium streamer, a powerful gaming console, a private AI assistant, and a bulletproof smart home hub, all converged into a single, elegant device. While everyone else is building better streaming sticks, Apple is building the digital heart of the home. So I'll ask you directly, with this immense leap in capability, is this the device that finally convinces you to pay a premium, or even to replace your existing game console? Let me know your definitive answer in the comments below. If this deep dive gave you a new perspective, a like would be incredible. Be sure to subscribe for more insights into the future of our technology. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.